Hey, it's Ryan from Hunting Waterfalls, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to completely pull apart the Camelback Eddy bite valve lid so that you can get in underneath here and clean under here because this sort of area is not easily accessible and can build up with mold and you really don't want to be drinking mold. This process is not that easy to do and it may lead to some minor cosmetic damage to your lid like scratches and issues and things like that. So on this little piece it used to be flush plastic but now obviously it's bent just because of the way that you need to pull the lid apart. In order to completely pull apart this eddy bite valve you're going to need a set of tweezers. You will want a set of pliers that is thin at the top. As you can see, these ones are thin. Thicker ones may work, but this is going to be easier. And you'll actually want a knife and a pretty strong knife as well with a sharp point at the end. So you don't want it to be too flimsy or too blunt. And yes, you're going to have to tack this with a knife. So to begin the process, simply take the lid off and then we can go ahead and pull the straw out. And then we can also pull the bite valve off just like this, it comes off really simply and easily. The next step is the hardest step in the process. And you can see in here, there's a little hole. I thought this might've been a cap with a screw underneath or something, but in order to get the lid off, you have to push it and slide it forward. But this little cap is in the way. It's actually a plastic dowel that is in there. So in order to get this lid apart, we need to pull that out. So this is probably the most dangerous step in the process. You need to actually get your knife in there and kind of lever it out. You're almost like pulling on it like a lever until it begins to come out. So sticking the knife in the side and then bending and pulling. And then as you'll see through the process that this dowel begins to actually come out. Once that kind of comes out, you can grab it with your fingers, or if you can't reach with your fingers, that's where the pliers come in handy. We can go ahead and pull that out. Now that you've got that out, in order to remove the lid, you wanna push it back towards the handle here, and then the lid will just go ahead and come off. Now with this piece and removing this rubber piece in here, you actually need to pinch the top here and kind of push it into there a little bit, and then you can go ahead and pull on the blue bit, or yours might be a different color, that will come out. And then down the bottom here, you may want to go ahead and use your pliers to get this free, or you can use your fingers and then go ahead and pull that out. So now that you have it pulled all apart, you can go ahead and clean it, scrub in there. I like to soak it in one part cleaning vinegar and one part water overnight, all of the individual pieces. And then I'll go ahead and use this little bottle brush to really scrub in all of these sections, get in there and get into it, as well as this kind of straw cleaner can really get into some of the different spots as well as in here, you can go ahead and get in and really clean it out really well, especially with this piece. You can really get in there and clean it. So I will leave a link to this bottle brush kit in the description down below if you wanna go ahead and grab that. So now that it is fully pulled apart, let's say you've cleaned it, you wanna fully dry it as well. So leave it to air dry and make sure everything's dry before you put it back together. Here's how we go ahead and put it back together. To begin, we wanna grab the bottom piece of the lid and we wanna grab this rubber straw as well. And we're gonna go ahead and put that through. Now, it may just push all the way through. If you need some help, you can use your tweezers to get this through. But for me, it just goes all the way through and I can go ahead and push this into place. Now, the next bit, this is the hardest step in the whole process is getting this through here. So what you wanna do is actually feed it through the bottom and you want the rounded bit here to be facing on the outside for when it clips in. But at the moment, it doesn't really matter. We just need to get that rubber piece through. In order to do that, we need to be able to pull this rubber piece through. It's not something you can do with your hands. You need to go ahead and grab some tweezers, pop them in there, squeeze really hard on it, and then pull it through. It may take you a few turns, to get it through, definitely usually takes me a couple of goes to get it through. 
and there we go. So that's probably the hardest bit of the reconstruction. So now that we've got that on, we wanna go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure that the handle is facing away from the bite valve area. I tried to put this on this way and it doesn't work. So you go ahead and pop it on this way. It clicks on like this, a bit off-centered, and then it slides back into place like that. And so now you can see we can push down on the bite valve and it will stay down. On the bottom here, you've got the air valve. If you don't replace this, it will leak a lot. And if you have a leaking lid, then go ahead and check out my article in the description down below on the different ways to fix that. But basically we need to feed this into the center and then it will just go ahead and push into place there. Now we can go ahead and put the bite valve back on, which will just clip on takes a little bit of effort, but isn't too difficult, and it will now fold down. Now, the last bit is kind of optional. You can go ahead and put this little locking mechanism back in place in there. As you can see, it's currently sticking out. You can push it all the way in like this, and now your lid is completely reconstructed, clean, free of mold, and ready to go again. As you can sort of see, there's some very minor damage to that locking dowel there, but not really a big deal. And you can choose to leave that out if you want, just to make disassembly easier in future.